So here's just a quick first flight over the, the underside of the chassis. Uh, afterwards, I have removed a lot of components up next. All right, so I've gutted most of the components that we, well, basically all of the radio components that we're getting in the way. I should have a few minor things down here. Here, it looks like we are on this side. Okay, after a lot of work, here is my current project in the state that it's in. We have this Stromberg Carlson 1052 model radio that underneath the chassis I have completely removed all the wires except for the wires that were attached from the power transformer to the rectifier tubes and a few of the 6.3 volt windings. Everything else has been rewired to basically match a Fender Champ 5F1, aside from some few minor modifications to fit this chassis. On the front we have a nice kind of wheat colored grill cloth, nice diamond pattern. Hiding behind there is a 5.5 inch speaker, Alico. On off switch and a volume knob. I've removed the tuning egg there which operated the needle. I have plans on putting something there but not nothing yet. And then hiding behind a little bit of wood recessed in there I do have a real quarter inch jack in the front of the panel there where there used to be a switch for the inputs and the, the different radio A, A and B. So as you can see just plugged in, turn her on and her little pilot lamps light up. Not too bright, but still very cute. And after finally taking the 6.3 windings off of the uh, ground, making a virtual center tap, the hum is significantly reduced. I'm very happy with that. As you can see, right here, a little bit of hum. Swing around back here. Okay, and yeah, back under the hood here. You can see I have a nice beefy power transformer, my 5Y3 rectifier tube, my 6V6 tube, and then my two 6AV6 preamp tubes, which I'm only using the triodes of. They essentially have the same characteristics as 12X7s, so I thought they were very suitable transition considering my 7 pin socket conundrum. As you can see I have one socket available. I'm probably going to try a tube tremolo with that last tube inside here. A little bit of makeshift wiring for now just to get the speaker hooked up until I put a jack on it. Here we have the original tube chart which is incorrect stands because I have added a, in the place of the 6BA6, we are now using a 6AV6. That's another preamp. And then hiding back there as well, as well is that cute little Alnico speaker, Stromberg Carlson. It's 5.5 inches. And then we have the pylon lips, which I have, for now, graciously mounted with some duct tape to lift them from the, the metal chassis as they were creating quite a hum when they were touching the metal. So I had to do quite a, a little rewire there to get them both lifted off the ground. As you can see, she's nice and warmed up. Okay. I'll just strum a few chords here after I turn up the volume.